I don't know what the best material is going on. Hey. Right, let, let me try something. Let's try something. All right, here we go. This side is I'm fired up. Say it. I'm fired up. I'm fired up. Say it again. I'm fired up. I'm fired up. All right. This side. Now, y'all don't embarrass me. This side is and I'm ready to go. And I'm ready to go. So they think they better than us. So we're going to see you together, all right? All right. This side, here we go. I'm fired up. I'm fired up. I'm fired up. I mean, I was just talking to somebody that said, man, if I was this close to my goal, but my whole team just fell apart. Yeah. Anybody ever been there before? Yeah. Yeah. You look, you're like, I thought you were here a long time. <laughs> and they're gone, right? You know, I want to cover this fast track to Diner real quickly. And I want to cover this, so I want you to take out your notepads, your notepads, uh, your, notepads your pens, bless you. Take out your notepads and your pens. You got an iPhone, you got uh, smartphones. All of those types of things, take those out because I want to kind of give you what my mentality was when we got started. Now, I want you to write this down. Your mentality produces your reality. Yep. Your mentality produces your reality. I was talking with a buddy of mine the other day, and we were having a conversation based on the results that we had seen some other friends of ours create inside of this space. And I know when we look at the screen now, you see. Oh my gosh, presidential is earning 14000 a month. Woo! See, ambassadors on average, $30,000 a month. How many of you want to get to the point in your career and in your life where if you had a $30,000 a month, you almost slide into depression? Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Like, like if you earn $30,000 for the month, you're like, man, that's something wrong. We need to have some meetings. I need to talk to somebody. How many of you want to get to that point? Yeah. We were talking about it because, you know, when, when you're at that level of income and, and you've got people on your team making that type of money, what I've noticed is there's always a level of hunger when you're connected to people that are doing more. And so how do you feel good in this environment tonight? I mean, I feel so good. Y'all give it up yeah. for everybody that put this together. Yeah. Yeah. Coming to environments like this will fuel your belief. So tonight, I'm going to talk about raising the bar. Everybody say, raise the bar. Raise the bar. Some of you, I know you're going to try to cut out of here early. I flew all the way in from Houston. I had to wake up at 4.30 this morning to catch a 6.40 a.m. flight because I'm on assignment for you. Thank you. Thank you. We appreciate it. Are you listening to me? Yes. I want to talk about raising the bar. The B stands for belief. Nothing happens in this business until you believe. I don't care. They can come out with super duper greens. <laughs> super absolutely incredible reds. It will make no difference until you believe. Scripture says, if thou canst believe. Go ahead. Everything in our business is tied to your belief. So I started to ask the question... A long time ago, I remember I, I was telling you earlier that for six years in our business, in our profession, I had not even earned $100,000 in six years combined. So forget about $30,000 weeks or months or $20,000 weeks like we've experienced. I had never even done that before. But I started to do what you're doing tonight. 
I had to get around environments yes. where belief was being felt. So to raise the bar, we're talking about fast tracking to diamond. There are three simple steps. I'm going to give these steps to you and then I'm going to jaywalk through the steps so we're all on the same page. Step number one is you join. And you, I want you to teach this to your groups too. Join and after they join, $99, right? How many think $99 is a lot of money for a person to join? $99. How many know some people, whether it's $20, $99, or $200, they'll still find a way to say it's a lot of money. Amen. So get that out of your mind. Oh, man, you know, $99. Oh, my God. We took 11 months ago when it works, $99, my wife and I, because we, we had to get started with $99. We took that $99. In our first month, we earned $38,500 in bonuses alone. That's the first 30 days. How do you think that's a pretty good investment? I don't, I don't know. Even in the adult game, I don't know if you can turn 100 into 38,000. I mean, that's, I know some of y'all real Christians and saved. It's an adult game. What's that? Remember, remember the, uh, Saul was the, Paul was the artist formerly known as Saul. See, so sometimes I'm Saul and other times I'm Paul. I'm ambidextrous with my approach, if you know what I'm talking about, right? And so anyway, so you raise the bar. Everybody say bar. bar. So the B stands for belief. Let me give you some things that will impact your belief. Words, images, and emotions. That's what impacts your belief. The young lady that got up here and she was talking about, you know, she's got a relationship with Christ now. And, and all. guess what? I guarantee you she had to be in an environment that caused her to believe. What good is it for you to be labeled a believer and you live doubtfully? Oh. We're calling ourselves believers. Notice they call themselves believers. So to raise your bar, the words you're speaking... One of the assignments I give every leader we work with, stop telling me about what's going wrong. Stop telling me about who quit, who didn't show up. Words. How was the world created? Scripture says he created the world with his words. As you speak your word, am I snapping finger? As you speak your word, so shall it be done. You follow me? Yeah. And so you're raising your bar, your belief, your words, the images. What am I seeing? Every single day, what am I seeing? People. You have to put in front of you what you want inside of you. Are you listening to me? Yes. How many of you ever heard of dream boards? Yes. Man, that's for the rookies. I have a dream environment. Yes. I mean, everywhere I go, man, there's, there's this, I'm going to put this post up. I, I'm going to show you all this real quick because I thought it was so funny um, years ago when I, first, when I first saw it. There's this picture. Anybody ever seen something like this? That's cute. Isn't that funny? Oh, my gosh. You know, it's this picture. Somebody has cut out a Rolex watch with yes. paper. Oh, I saw that. Yes. They've cut out on paper a steering wheel of a Mercedes Benz. Okay. Right? They, they cut, I, I wish y'all could all see it. I would pass my phone around, but I, I don't want y'all to uh, see all my new prospects I got. But anyway, because I've been working since I was here. But, but here's the deal. When I first saw that, I used to laugh. I thought that was funny. Oh, they cut out a Rolex and put that paper and put it on their arm. Oh, in their steering wheel, they cut out Mercedes. They put it on their steering wheel of their Mazda. Best friend of mine. Never forget this. This is too much furniture. He had a hundred grand in the bank, no furniture. And. I would come out to work out with him like I'm going to do with Paul. Well, I'm going to wear Paul out. He thinks he's going to work out. Uh, I'm going to wear Paul out. Jaleel, he tried to take me up on basketball a couple years ago. I think, he, I think he's retired now. But anyway, uh, but, but I'm, I'm over at my best friend's house. This is 2010. He's blasting some music. Remember I told you words, images, and what? Emotion. This is how you raise your belief. The only reason why you won't go diamond in the month of August, for those of you that want to get that $10,000 bonus, the only reason why you won't do it this month is because you don't believe it. 
That's the only reason. Claire talked about feeling worthy or feeling unworthy. We all suffer from that. Write this down. Life is a fight for territory. The moment you stop fighting for what you want, what it is that you don't want automatically takes over. Life is a fight for territory. The moment you stop fighting for what you want, what it is that you don't want, automatically takes over. I had to fight that mentality of feeling unqualified and unworthy because it was in complete contradiction with where I wanted to go. Are you listening to me? Yeah. I'm talking about raising the bar. Well, Jared, you don't know what I did in my past life. You, you don't know what I, I used to hang from the chandeliers. <laughs> they go to that song because of me. That's why nobody's joining. Jerry, Jerry, you don't know all the stuff I've done. Your past qualifies you for your future. Mm. Come on now. Say that again. Your past will qualify you for your future. Mm. I'm talking about raising the bar right now. Diamond is easy. That, I mean, I think we hit diamond our first hour in the system. That, that's, that's, that's a joke. That, that, that's easy. I think we had broke 30-some diamonds our first 60 days in the business. That's easy stuff. What was hard was believing that I was qualified to be able to one day do Come it. On. Come on, yes. yes. Come on now. My words. Speaking those things that I want versus what I don't want. I told you earlier, schedule your pleasure because pain will schedule itself. Come on now. Are you listening to me? I'm talking about every single day. I went over his apartment. I'm laughing at him because in his one bedroom apartment, he's got on the on the walls, forget the dream board stuff. He's got on the walls pictures of a Bentley and pictures of a million dollar mansion. He's got he's got pictures of the contributions he's gonna be making. He's got in his Malibu, he's got a picture of a Bentley in the Malibu, and I was laughing. <laughs> you <laughs> you you putting pictures up, man, you're messing up your pain. I'll never forget. Got the phone call. Less than a year later. Hey, bro, come downstairs. I got downstairs to see him in that Bentley. I said, maybe I ought to do this corny, crazy stuff. Too. It's always corny and crazy, right? Write this down. Do the corny things. Yes. Do the corny things. Some of you, I know you're real deep. You want to save the world. You've got these goals that you've written. Oh, I want to retire my husband. I want to retire my wife. You've got these big whys that you want to do. And, and that's good. But some of us, we've got some stuff we want to buy. Okay. How many of us not ashamed to admit this? That, yeah, come on. There's some stuff that I... Come on, man. It's not like it's so sophisticated to say there's some stuff I want to buy. Yeah, I want to retire you, but baby, I need to buy some. Yeah. You know why I bought these shoes? I bought these shoes so you can believe you can buy you some. It's six hundred dollars a foot. You follow? Yes. Now I'm not bragging, but remember, remember, my first six years, I saw them. I didn't even make a hundred thousand dollars combined. But I had to get around environments like this yes, yes. to start believing, to start to start watering down the negative thinking that I have. I had yes. stinking thinking. Yes. 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 And it just shows up. I mean, you can be having a good day. Everything's going well. And you bang your pinky toe. Ah. <laughs> Ooh, and they like that pinky toe. Hitting the corner of that wall or that bed. And you grab it and you, oh, Father God. Hey, what you say? Say something like that. Oh, come on, come on. Don't leave me out of here, man. Right, we do that, right? Now, you didn't plan to do that. You didn't wake up and say, you know, today I'm just going to bang my pinky toe. No, it just happened. It just happened. But here's the thing. 
your words, the images, and your emotions. Pay attention to the people that make you feel good. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. The environments that nourish you. That's all belief. The A is action. Action. Take an action. Whatever action you're taking, whether it's online or offline, next to the line, the side of the line, whatever action you're taking. See, the reason why you'll take more action is when your belief raises. When your belief is high, your activity is high. I can always look at our organization. I can always look at the different legs of business, and I can tell whose belief is low. If I see volume low, oh, your belief is low. That's all it is. You know, belief has an expiration, don't you? It's like milk. Yeah. Anybody ever smell spoiled milk? That's how you. That's how you sound and look when your belief is low. Yeah. You just stink. Attitude stink. Mindset stink. Bank account stink. Just a foul odor. Are you listening to me? That's what happens when your belief has expired. When you come to environments like this, you get a fresh pour yes, Lord. into your belief. And it takes you back with more activity. The third, I said B-A-R, right? R is results. R is results. So, Jared, how do I do it? You say you don't tell me how to do it. I just told you. <laughs> You're gonna, how many know our business is all about talking to people? Yes. Yes. That's it. <laughs> you got to talk to people. But it's not, it's, not, um, it's not what you say. It's how you feel about what you're saying. It's like your favorite song. Some of my favorite songs, I don't even know the lyrics. <laughs> how many of you like me? You, you, you start mumbling. Out, oh, no, 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 no. But, oh, that car is coming. <laughs> People follow the rhythm. Yes. 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 Everybody like that. It's a rhythm. That's it. It's all a rhythm. And then you can always tell when the rhythm gets low. It gets low because you get tired. It gets low because you're bored. Write this down. Successful people get good at doing the boring things. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Our business thrives on duplication. It suffers on innovation. Mm -hmm. So you're trying this. You're trying that. You're trying to do it this way. You're trying to do it. I'm going to try this. I'm going to try that. Oh, I heard this person say they did this. Oh, I heard her say she did that. And then you go abandon what's already working. And you're out of rhythm. Then you come back. Oh, my God. I can't believe this. What's wrong? Why is it not growing? All these people quit because you got out of Nobody's better than you. You heard an ambassador say, I don't even feel worthy, but I guarantee you she's had moments in the business of just standing with them. They join, great. They promote, phenomenal. They quit, oh my God, it's not working. No. <laughs> Stay in what? Stay in what? And here's what you never want to do. Don't compare yourself. It's the hardest thing ever in our business because we bring people in front of the room for you to compare yourself to. <laughs> Don't compare yourself. Don't Let me show you somebody who did more than you've done. <laughs> but don't compare yourself. <laughs> In, in that summer, so you sit up there. Now be, be excited for this person. Yeah. I'm excited. My business just went backwards. No, your belief went backwards. When I say don't compare yourself, what I mean 
is don't look at their highlight real and compare it to your behind the scene footage. It's never a fair comparison. I promise you, all of us that came up here, we gave you the highlight reel. We gave you our movie trailer. But how many understand that the movie trailer never gives you an accurate or full account of everything that happens in the movie? There's more to the story. So don't just compare yourself in terms of your behind the scenes to their highlight reel. I call it comparison is the thief to all joy. So, your takeaway from here. Say, raise the bar. Everybody say, raise the bar. Raise the bar. Say it again. Say, raise the bar. Raise the bar. All right, stand up on your feet. We're leaving. Okay. We're leaving. We're leaving. Stand up on your feet. All right, be seated. All right, come on. Stand on your feet. All right, we're leaving. Be seated. This is how some of you not even participating. You already quit. I'm not going to do this. That's why your business is gone backwards. I told you successful people get good at doing the boring, mundane things. Stand to your feet. All right, be seated. Looking around. Did, did, did you stand? Did, did, did you stand? Are we standing together? Are we going to sit down? This time? What's he doing? I'm ready to go. I'm hungry. Stand to your feet, please. Be seated. Stand to your feet. Be seated. Stand up. I'm just trying to get it worth what now. Be seated. You know what's so interesting? Some of you... Write this down, this T-Hawk I love this stuff. I love printing. How you do anything is how you do everything. Yes. This simple exercise just exposed your business. I want you to think of your mentality doing that exercise. Some of you had to be motivated to participate, and you said you wanted this. That's right. You don't want to retire. I've been retired for 10 years. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Yes. And my wife. You don't want to try to figure out how you're going to pay your mortgage. We just bought another another 4,000 square foot house. We're moving next week. Yeah. Five bedrooms on the lake. I mean, I can see the fishes. <laughs> it's fish when you broke. It's fishes when you broke. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, this is the hate. Okay, so no, no, listen, 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 listen to me. Listen to me. You going up and down. You going up and down is synonymous with your business. This business will take you on the highest highs and reveal you on the lowest lows. And you have to maintain a level of belief through it all. Now, you're human, right? So you, you, are, you are okay to have human moments. Just don't milk them for months. Are you listening to me? Yes. You're okay to have some human moments, some disappointments, even some hurt. You know what hurt is? Hurt is the mismanagement of disappointment. Did you hear me? Yes. Hurt is the mismanagement of disappointment. Because disappointment only comes two ways. Unmet expectation or misguided expectation. That's it. Somebody said they were going to do something and they didn't do it. Disappointment. Someone said they were going to do this, and you thought they meant that, and when it didn't happen, disappointment. You follow me? And so now when that disappointment comes in, how you handle it determines if you slide into hurt and get into doubt and unbelief. And then when you get into doubt and unbelief, that's when you start smelling like spoiled milk. <laughs> Thinking. I mean, it works was just the greatest thing ever. Right. Two weeks ago. Right. Now the raps don't work all of a sudden. The raps don't work all 18 years. Right. Job them raps right. don't work. Right. Why they change the green? They change they stuff just always on back order. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's because you're out of belief. 
your belief is running low. You know why I came to this event? I needed to be here. Amen. Amen. To get my belief. Yeah, yeah. That's right. So I start. I'm yeah. <laughs> why are you saying that about that? That's what yeah. people do. Why am I? Oh, no, I need a refill. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my. You got it? Yeah. So they're telling me I'm grossly over time. <clears throat> got some folks to go meet with. I know y'all got to get home to your kids and stuff. So let me say this to you. We are in what month? August? August. I titled this month Accelerate August. Because you know, y'all in the summer, y'all go to sleep in the summer. You know how to <laughs> summer, y'all vacationing, homecationing, doing all type of stuff, but, but building a business. So anyway, so, uh, so August, after you sent your kids and you, everybody posted your little cheering on Facebook, I saw all your kids. I was like, yeah. it, I'm in, uh, everybody kids posing. They got some little, yeah. It's going to first grade. It's going to first grade. My, my, my other parents are sending their kids off to college. Ooh, thank God. And y'all crying and everything, right? And so now August we're accelerating. Do you have space on your phone? Accelerating. Let me give you the assignment I gave all the leaders and I'm gone. Assignment number one. Make sure you've processed your auto ship on the first of the month. Yes. Okay. Yes. Come on. Yeah. I told you we're gonna accelerate. I'm gonna accelerate your belief. If we accelerate your belief, we'll accelerate your actions. You accelerate your actions, you accelerate. Come on. I told you we're gonna accelerate. I'm gonna accelerate your belief. If we accelerate your belief, we'll accelerate your actions. You accelerate your actions, you accelerate your results. How many of you want to get to ambassador faster rather than later? Yes, 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 yes. Now watch this. Do your auto ship. You haven't placed your auto ship. When you leave here tonight, before you hit that parking lot, you place that auto ship. Jerry, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter. You can do it. Listen to me. Listen to me. It's a mindset. Yes, yes. yes. I promise you, you're not you going to attract a diamond into your group with a ruby mindset. Yes. Yes. Oh, come on, wow. come on. Yeah. Are you listening to me? Yeah. So now, you process that. The second thing I want you to do is we're working on your words, right? Yeah. Words. Yeah. I want you to get a index card. Mm -hmm. Index card. Index card. And on that index card, I want you to write, I am so happy and grateful now. I am so happy and grateful now that I am a whatever your goal is for the month. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I want you to look at that card, that index card, every single day. Mm -hmm. Belief is the multiplier. I, we, didn't, we didn't get here on accident. Mm -hmm. This is not accidental. Mm -hmm. Nobody... You know, my, my sponsor has not placed a ruby under me. Mm. Nobody placed anybody below me. Never no. Yep. I'm the one doing the placing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You follow me? Yes. It happens because your belief. So you look at that index card every single day because what you've got to do, I want to drown out your doubt. Yes. Everybody say drown it out. Drown it out. So you're reading that every single day. And then third, I want you to get an accountability partner. Yes. Mm -hmm. Who's going to hold you accountable for your activity? <laughs> my wife, my wife lost 30 pounds in 60 days. Y'all yeah. give yeah. a big hand. Come on, come on. Come on, give her a big hand. You may see this on Facebook. 30 pounds in her first 60 days. Wow. You know why she lost that weight? She had an accountability partner. First of all, she believed. She did the work, but she had somebody and an environment that caused her to break through it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Remember, I told you how you do anything. It's how you do everything. It's how you do everything. And so, those, those are the things I want you to do. Turn to the three steps. Join, boost your pack. Number two, enroll your first four loyal customers in your first 30 days. Number three, go with you. How are you going to do it? You got to raise the bar. Your belief, your actions, and your results. Thank you all so much. Thank we'll you. see you all. Yeah.